Starplane Blast actually came out last week, and I didn't get the chance to take a look at how the market's doing. So, of course, we're going to take a look at some Darkwing Blast, some Legendary Duelist, and uh, some other really interesting cards that I didn't really expect to start shifting in price. But you know what? It's the market. It changes every single day. I'm making 30% of you guys have not smashed the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up to 110,000. So what's going on here via Darkwing Blast? Well, the spectacular version of the, what's it called, the gotcha card in the set, $300. Hmm. Our holographic ghost rare here is nine bucks, by the way. I think this card looks really beautiful in terms of, like, value. Now, these are all bought out. Ah, hello, Black Feather. Of course, we all knew that Lubellion would disappear at 45. A lot of these prismatics disappeared. Oof. Those look so beautiful. And of course, the Clesia, $450, huh? You know, the fact that it sold out at $450 definitely makes me go, hmm, nice market. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's rough. Um, and then the Kishi Raz. This one's in stock for 40 I mean, to be fair, that's not the good one. I'll see we have Ninja Girl up here for 40 as well. I see the waifu tax did not hold. Really, these sold out for 30 ones. Okay. And then, of course, uh, the Labyrinth would sell up $450 for the Labyrinth. Hmm. That's two versions of waifu tax in here. Oh, pfft, excuse me. We got three versions because the tier elements sold out for 250. Jesus, man, that's actually disgusting. The Black Feather Dragon moved at 3150. Ah, this is 90 dollars for this, and if this is 280, what? Yo, their prismatic market is a joke, man. I see the sprite monsters only 22. So now we get into the, this is the cheaper stuff. So these are like your secret rare alternative ones. Remember, the OCG has like so many rarities. Of course, all of these are wiped out. This was only $27 for that. All right, that's way more affordable, I guess. I see the same thing. The Labyrinth got bought out, of course. And then you're saying the same thing here with the secret rare version of our tier elements. So, yeah, of course. Is this, is this base rarity? Nah, this would be your ultimate rare. 540 and gone. And of course, 1850 on this one. Is it, is this also, this was the base rarity one. 450 and they're gone. Wow. That's the first time in a long time that I've seen, like, a base rarity card get wiped off of the market, if I'm not wrong about that. That's actually kind of nuts. But we got commons gone down here? The, the horse is gone? And... <laughs> The car, the the pot is gone too. What? Man, the the OSG market does some really weird things. But okay, so the biggest things out of this set to take note of are, of course, like the Lubellion, um, of course, Labyrinth Mommy version two, Electric Boogaloo, and of course the True Element stuff. It's all within expectations, honestly. This thing is only three dollars and sixty cents. I feel so bad for that, but man. That is so interesting to see. Like, you know, I initially thought that this set was kind of like a, a slow burner in terms of things, but it looks like looks like it's doing better than I thought it would. Darkwing Blast on eBay. I was curious how much, you know, to find some some boxes for. 75 bucks for OCG. Uh, but then of course you got people out here selling cases for five eighty nine. Free shipping. That's uh that's really good. I don't know how they're doing that, but alright. I see uh what is it, English boxes out here <laughs> for, oh, excuse me, this is OCG for 88. Uh, this was the one. You can get a half box from Greece for $42. I don't know, uh, I really wouldn't risk that for the biscuit, but we got more Greece pre-sales down here. Whole box for $84 shipped from Greece. Hmm. Those are some very early pre-sales, but you know what? All right, market. So, uh, yeah, five ninety for a case. That's that's uh, some very interesting pre-sales this early on. I guess you'll love to see it. The Rite of Armesia mat. So I was curious to see like how these have been holding up on the secondary here. Five ninety six hundred. dollars um, You got a majority of these still pretty much available on secondary. Um, completed listings have you sold? Oh, one sold for six and another sold for best offer from Peru. 
So yes, these have moved, not in like the quantities that you would really expect to see reflective of this, but it does appear that there are little movements and things on the secondary market for this. Also, this beautiful piece, oh my gosh, this Rainbow Dragon mat, so nice. I assume that, I think we're getting a playmat very similar to this, um, probably for the Structure Deck release here in the TCG, but if you're somebody out here that's looking and deciding, hey, maybe I want the OCG version, 172.97. Such an odd number, but that's probably with like the current yen conversion rate. Um, also, look into the Exosister set. Since Exosisters are fully on the horizon here, collectors love to have their playmats specifically designed. $344. No thanks. I'm not about that. Uh, the old Rush Duel mat. I always love seeing like these obscure Rush Duel mats. $136 for that. And then, of course, there's a little nod to some tokens here. $83 for that, man. You get into some of the most obscure tokens. I just wanted to pull this up and just kind of show some of like these weird prices. Like the Yusei Fudo here. Yeah. Tokens are expensive when you get into like the base rare line for some of these in terms of the more basic rarities. It's it's definitely it's interesting to see where your value meant and things in this game lie. Legendary Duelist, how is the market holding up here? Well, Magician Souls, uh, the Ultras dis started to disappear. Who would have guessed? Huh. Like I said previously, we're going into a format where Magician Souls might not be, you know, the most optimal piece. But if you're looking at this card and you're seeing $12 to $13 and you want to place it and you're like, this is really probably about the last reprint for a very long time. I don't know why they would put this somewhere else besides like a gold series, but uh, you know darn well that this is probably going to maintain some sort of value. So do yourself a favor. If you're debating and going, hmm, I don't know if I want to pick this up, to be honest with you, um, that ship might have sailed. Honestly, these are still cheap. The blues and the reds, basically $14 a piece. I don't think that's bad. Of course, you gotta love the dice here. Uh, the Dark Magicians are down to 11s. The Soul Servants are still floating about the $8 mark. Liquid Soldier is down to 8s. A lot of little stuff here gaining. The Mystical Elf at 4s. Harpy's Fearsome Dragon at 4 to 5 as well. Um, interesting stuff. Dark Magician Girl, freaking what? Okay. $3. You, you love to see, like, you, you can tell that there's still value across the board here. Triff Overdom, 250 yeah, there's decent value to be had in this set. Uh, Reguluses, um, you guys remember when these were $70, right? This is literally the definition of how the mighty have fallen. Boreas are down to 8 to $9. Uh, they didn't even hold. This Coliseum's down to 9s. No stopping. It's just, it's spiraling out of control at the moment. Morphtronic cards. Ooh, cell phones. $34. Actually, that's the cheapest cell phone I've seen in a very long time, actually. $34. You can get some Spanish copies of $35. Yeah, these. These did not hold their integrity very well. Holy crap. Remotens, six bucks. Cell phones, tens. Um, Scopins are still dollars. I guess you, uh, you love to see it. A very, very interesting little take. I guess keep an eye on this. Um, for whatever reason, the ones I had weren't even good condition. I had to ship them out. It was it was a sad day. Um, but, yeah, these are still cheap. Alright, and then we got Cyframe Overload here. Um, these are dollars. I don't know if you guys like pay attention to like random Cyframe cards, but like after shipping, you're still spending about four dollars on these. And there's no stopping them. Like, these are continuously going up. So, yeah, someday it'll get a reprint, but not now. Livestream Dragon Ultimate Rares. If you're uh, a collector out here, you know that we just got like the power ups for this deck. Now you can make it a lot easier. $28 for Light Play First Eds. It's actually pretty good. First Eds are going to run you about $44 for Livestream. That's a lot more enticing than, you know, pre some of the other previous things. Seven bucks. Commons are still three dollars. All right. Did you know the multiplies were in money? This was the uh, this was the most humorous thing that I saw today. I blinked on these. These are seven dollars for first ed light plays. Uh, and then you head on up to uh, still hit the eight dollar mark. I haven't hit a near mint yet. 
That's actually disgusting. Ten fifty for Unlim. Uh, looks like about fourteen dollars for a first ed near mint copy of Multiply. <sighs> wow. Well, uh, what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you guys smash the little crap out of the subscribe button. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.